published Course in Miracles, the published version, which has several editions, um, doesn't really make any direct reference to sex. Uh, it has references to the mind, it has references to miracle impulses and distorted miracle impulses, and it has references to consciousness and so forth, but it doesn't take sexuality or sex as a category, and there are no topics throughout the course that actually deal directly with sex. Sexuality being a, a system of behaviors that are classified by the world. So, I would say that sex and eating, thirst, um, body temperature, you know, on and on, there's a lot of things that we would say are very much a part of the human condition, and those are the effects or the behaviors of the human being, and this course is actually a course in changing your thinking. So we learn from the course, you are not responsible for what you do, but for what you think. And we're also told what you do comes from what you think. So you see, the emphasis is on thoughts. And in terms of sexuality and sexual impulses, the Holy Spirit will meet the mind where it believes it's at. So it will, guidance can definitely involve uh, things that involve sexuality. And as well as many other aspects of human behavior and the human condition. But as far as the Course per se, it doesn't take a stand on sexuality. It doesn't have any kind of behavioral boxes that it labels as good or bad. And it, it really talks about changing your mind and shifting your perception. So the focus isn't on sex with the Course, it's more if you notice there are shifts and changes in behaviors, they're coming from a shift in consciousness.